GAA. We all belong here, in this place, at this time. We belong not because of who we are or where we come from. Being here means belonging. Belonging means knowing you're part of a community. A community that has a place for all. Where potential is nurtured. Where individuals become teens. We honour the legacy of those who went before and strive to build a legacy of their own. Some of us play, some of us used to play, some of us never played. We all belong. Belonging means having a voice, means being able to say what you think is right. Being listened to. Belonging means respecting each other, means being there for each other, on the pitch, off the pitch. Belonging means rolling our sleeves up and doing what needs to be done. We all belong, whether it's our first day or our hundredth year. We all belong here because this place belongs to us all. Our GAA, where we all belong. It's a long drive to Croker from here. In ways even longer for the fans. The effort, I can tell you, it's worth it. Even today, I can still hear it. The roar of the hill. It's gonna be something else. You're all very welcome here today to Ockram for the second of our Boom and Platform Higher Senior Football Championship semi-finals uh, between Ratnew and Blessington. Uh, both teams going to war here today to see who joins uh, Barton Glass in the Senior Football Final next Sunday. Uh, both teams are just out finishing their warm-up here. I have Shane Kenny on co-commentary with me. Uh, Shane, uh, looks like a few showers hanging around. Again, the breeze is down into the town end, but this should be a fairly intriguing affair between Blessington and Ratnew. Blessington have navigated their way here with Dunlavin, beating Dunlavin, uh, Tinny Healy and AGB with Ratnew, all wins on the board as well over Bray and Bottenglass after extra time and a good uh, hard-fought win over Dunlavin last week. Uh, definitely looks has all the makings of a tight one that should go all the way. Yeah, I think it's going to be, it's going to be a very, very tight encounter. 
you know, blessing and like if they really, they've, they've utilized they're both teams. I think have utilized their squads very well. They've got um, you know, they've got they've got they've got brought on vital sub, subs of vital times there, and you know, got them over the line. And I think it's how both managers utilize their squads is going to be play a big part in it. You know, I think both both sets of forwards as well. I think have the beatings of the backs. You know, it's, it's going to be a going to be a great encounter. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it should be a great encounter. In fairness, as we see, uh, both as you said, both squads very strong benches on both sides. I'm just going to give you a quick run through the starting teams that we have. I think we Blessington up on your screen there first. Uh, the Blessington team is Jack Sargent in goal, Steve Bowen, Jack Gilligan and Connell Gallagher in the full back line. Kevin Hanlon, Paul McLaughlin and Brian Bowen make up the half back line with Patrick O'Connor and Owen Kew in midfield. Craig Maguire, Anthony McLaughlin and Dan Silk Featherston in the half forward line with Mikey O'Connor, Kevin Quinn and Curtis Gerrihy in the full forward line. A few changes there from the team that started the last day. Up next we have Rat New. On the screen there, so it's Johnny Burning, Goal, Paul Merrigan, JT Hayden and Ronan Manley in the full back line. Jack Healy, Jamie Snell and Warren Kavanagh in the in that half back line there. Number 17, Ross O'Brien, we're told, will replace Kieran Coffey at midfield with Theo Smith. Uh, John O'Graham, Nicky Merna and Sam O'Dowd in the half hour line with James Stafford, Sean Coffey and Owen Doyle in the inside line. Again, uh, Ross starting at midfield, brought in there, he had showed huge leadership the last day. As you said, both teams utilising their benches, but looking on the bench, you know, Kevin John Rogers, uh, Michael McLaughlin, Jordan McGarr even there, David Bootman came on, kicked a great score the last day, and, and you know, you have the likes of uh, Mark Doyle, who has done a great job coming in off the bench for Rat New over the last few days as well, so it'll be an intriguing affair, and a hard, uh, probably a hard fall, but definitely a hard fall, when there's never a semi-final here that isn't. No, it's definitely going to go to the wire now, it's, it's going to be, uh, I'm very looking forward to it now, and it's, look, it's, I think it's going to be, play a big part of who finishes into the town goal, it's going to play a big part in this. Looks like Blessington are lining up to kick into it first by the looks of things yeah, already. I think, I, yeah, it's Blessington's look to be playing from the Herbs then down into the town goal in the first half. They look like they're going to go fairly direct as well. Mick McLaughlin is in there. Uh, Anthony's gone into the full forward line. Kevin Quinn is in there, sort of height. They're probably going to try and utilise it. It'll be rude one. Very interesting first few minutes. Number 20, Kevin John Rogers starts for... Uh, for Blessington, it looks like maybe Owen Kyo doesn't start, so a couple of changes there that we weren't notified about, but we're, as long as the numbers are number 19 is in as well, Mick McLaughlin is in. It looks like once they started with the wind, they're gone for height and power, which is good to see. Number 21, Dan Coney is also in the ball, is in the game, is on here in Knocker. It's first blood to Blessington. Ball taken by Craig Maguire. Maguire, 65 yards out, lashes an early ball in, but it's cut out by Jamie Snell. Snell gets the ball to Paul Merrigan. He pops a pass off there to Ross O'Brien. O'Brien just slows things down, weighs up his options, but immediately there's two blessing the men all over his case. There's a pull on his jersey, says our referee, Dara Bourne. Dara taking charge of this one today. Quick ball played up the field into the path of uh, Theo Smith. Smith goes high into the breeze. It's hanging up there underneath. It's Connell Gallagher off his hands and into the hands of Jack Gilligan. And away come Blessington. It's a loose pass though. Breaks down. Finds uh, Jonah Graham. Graham picks up that ball. Gets it into Ondoid. Back into Graham. Chance here for Retinue to drill an early score. It's a crossfield ball. It's taken by James Stafford. Stafford grabs that one. But he drags his shot to the wood right at the post and wide. And a hectic start on both sides. But it's fairly obvious even against the wind with Rat New and Blessing and at the other end they're going to play direct football here yeah it looks like very nervous times for Blessing in there when you see James Stafford catching the ball on the edge of the square one on one it's nervous times they're lucky to, that ball went wide Mick McLaughlin has gone back to police him straight away on the end of the field the kick out is long from Jack Sargent ball breaks down on it's broken into the hands of Sam O'Dowd he gives the ball to Nicky Merner Merner's about 50 yards out pops the ball off as far as Paul Merrigan he goes long and diagonal in looking for Sean Coffey bounces over everyone it's a big bounce to say the field is so wet there but Stephen Bone uh, tidies things up and takes a second to weigh up his options and one of those is Brian Bone Bone 45 yards out underneath the stand gets the ball out as far as Kevin John Rogers John Rogers wearing uh, 20 on his back here, decides to come back with the ball, give it to Colin Gallagher and he comes all across the field here as far as Kevin Hanlon, Hanlon with space in front of himself now, has Jonah Graham trying to cut him off, does well though, Hanlon cuts back inside, pops a pass off into 
Paul McLaughlin, McLaughlin drills the ball in, looking for his brother Anthony. Anthony McLaughlin now in front, top of the D, turns and kicks this one high, direct ball in, first score of the game for Blessing and well worked score between the McLaughlins there and again the direct ball in, causing problems for the backs. Yeah, as it was and it's uh, Johnny Byrne will take this kick out. He goes short as far as JT Hayden, right to the top of his D, does well to get out between two tacklers there, Kevin Quinn and Anton McLaughlin, ball breaks up the field, it's good play by Sam O'Dowd to touch it to himself, he finds a pocket of space and he charges into it, 45 yards out, gives the ball to Nicky Merner, Merner cuts back inside onto his right boot, kicks it high, kicks it through and kicks it, oh, a brilliant score from Nicky Merner, 3 or 4 for play the last day, and a brilliant score from the top of the D here again, leadership, we talked about leadership and no better leader than Nicky. No, he's, he's inspirational there. Sam O'Dowd done very well in the build-up play. Kick out is taken quickly. It's into the hands of Stephen Bone. It's hell for leather here in Ockram. We're not three minutes in. It's a point apiece here. Colin Geller has the ball. He gives it to Craig Maguire. He pops the ball off to Jack Gilligan. A little bit behind him. But Gilligan does well to mop it up and gives it to Brian Bone. Bone in the middle of the field looks up. Again, a long direct ball in as far as Anto McLaughlin. McLaughlin is out in front of JT Hayden. Pops a pass off to Kevin Quinn. Quinn was on the ground there just for a second. He's got up really quickly. He's done really well. Gets the ball in the left boot. Oh, brilliant score. It's an exhibition of score taken here from both sides at the minute Kevin Quinn that gifted natural talent that he is just got that ball on his left boat and swung it high and swung it over the bar breeze in his back don't forget but it's two points to blessing then a point to right new here three and a half minutes gone we're being treated to a cracker here so far Johnny Byrne goes long down the field Jonah Graham's under this and a push in the back says Dara Byrne probably was a little nudge on there just got caught on it Stephen Bone looks to take the free Right new just filter a few players back in front. There's Kevin Don Rogers takes it actually and he gives the ball, takes it back and recycles it back to Stephen Bowen. He pops a long ball in, looking inside for one of his men. As falls back into the hands of Stephen Bowen. Bowen, 21 yards out on the left boot, kicks this one, but it's just gone to the left of the post and wide there. And probably have to go down as a poor miss really because he was in space and got on his left foot there, but he... Didn't split the posts as he would have liked. Johnny Byrne now taking this opportunity to maybe slow things down. Has a look again, looks to go short, clips a little ball, looking for Theo Smith. Smith dies, caught there and in two minds, and the ball breaks as far as Kevin Quinn. Quinn was out there under a Quinn, takes a pull of the jersey on him. It's a free in from about 40 yards, a very kickable free it is as well. And just Right new, probably making a little bit of their own hassle there, you know, a flawed ball like that into a player, you know, it's like a loop and hand pass, it's it's there to be taken away, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and look, Anton McLaughlin has been very accurate from, from this place there recently, so. Anton is about 40 yards out here, he's about six or seven yards to the right of the post, into the town goal here, breezing his back. Strikes this one high and strikes it over the bars, three points to one here now to Blessington, five minutes on the clock. As Ratnew just try to navigate their way against this wind. Blessington looking very lively and very dangerous in that inside line. Direct play seems to be working for him. Johnny Byrne again floats one up. It's well taken this time by Jonah Graham. Good play by Graham. Didn't like the tackle and it was moved up by Dara Byrne. Or Graham sizes up his options. He's looking for someone to give it to. Warren Kavanagh's out underneath us here at the press box side. Kavanagh wearing number seven has a look up again. He needs support. There's two blessing him and converging on him. Just about gets rid of it. He doesn't leave. Spill the ball backwards and Kevin Quinn gets to it first. Good play by Quinn to dispossess him. He lets the ball out over the line, but it's gone for a rat new ball. I think Kevin Quinn, oh, it's not. It's a Blessington ball. Looked like the linesman had flagged it the other way momentarily. Kevin Quinn drills a long ball across, dangerous looking ball, but it's well cut out back there by the Ratnew defence, and T.O. Smith comes away with the ball. Uh, Jamie Snell has it now. Ratnew just look a little bit laboured coming out of defence, maybe they're looking for the runner off the shoulder that's not there, but Blessington are doing huge work in the tackle there. Now they come with the ball as Jamie Snell is away, there's an advantage to him, he doesn't want it, he's charging down the field again, he looks for support. Black and blue jerseys converge all around him, there's a pull down on Jamie Snell, it'll be a free from about 40 yards out into the breeze here be interesting to see who kicks this one 
Blessing and putting huge pressure on the man on the ball coming out there as well. It's been a mark of what we've seen all through this championship, I suppose, from all teams. But again, right, they're just trying to stop right new at Sorsha. Yeah, they surely are. Look, look, there's a bit of a breeze there as well. It's very hard for Ratnew to get it out. Look, if wrestling, wrestling keep up this pressure, it's going to be a, going to be a tight affair. The kick from Owen Doyle just pulled to the left of the post and wide into that breeze. It's not an easy one to judge. It's Jack Sargent will take this kick out. Looks for movement. He kicks it down on top of Owen Kyo. Warren Kavner's on his case. Goes all the way over, but there was a hand on the back there from Warren Kavner. He probably could have left him because it was going over everyone. It's a free to the Blessington men, though. Taken quickly by Stephen Bowen. He pops the ball off as far as uh, Craig Maguire. Maguire gives the ball into Patrick O'Connor. O'Connor's 45 yards out. He's turned there by Warren Kavanagh. Does really well to get around the tackle, O'Connor. It keeps going. Again, there's two, three Rat new men on his case. Jamie Snell is over there just doing enough to shepherd him out to the line. He has to come back with the ball. There's blessing them players all across the 45. Calling for this one, but there's a huge kick in there from the number 21, Dan Coney. Brilliant kick from Coney off the 45. He fancied his chances, I think. They were probably asking him why didn't he offload it, but he did offload it to the right place. It's four points to one now to Blessington after eight minutes here. And right now just struggling to stick with the tempo that Blessington are bringing at the minute. Johnny Byrne kicks the ball long. Theo Smith takes the mark right on the 45. Does well enough, gets the ball out to John O'Graham. Graham is underneath the stand. He's about 55 yards out from his own goal. Again, he's stood up by a wall of black and blue jerseys. Nicky Mariner drops deep to try and get hands on the ball. He does, he gives it to John O'Graham. Graham comes back with, hand passes the ball out there as far as Paul Merrigan. Merrigan solos and has a look at his options. One of them is Nicky Mariner. Mariner steps inside Kevin John Rogers and gives a foot pass, a high foot pass up looking for uh, John Coffey, but it's broken away by, Jack, uh, by Colin Gallagher and only as far as uh, Ross O'Brien that one handed down there by uh, James Stafford the ball breaks just away from Sean Coffey back there was Owen Kyo to gobble things up and he gets the ball to Paul McLaughlin blessing and come away with there were nervous times but they've dealt with it very well and it's into the hands of Patrick O'Connor O'Connor comes down the field with the ball looking for Paul McLaughlin McLaughlin pointed to where he wanted it got out in front of his man controls it and picks it up JT Hayden is on his case McLaughlin solos again waits for support cuts back inside kicks off the right foot but this one has gone away to the right of the post and wide and just lacked a little bit of support there Shane he was very isolated when he got the ball up top there on his own yeah they had no one inside the 21 there at all blessing them like they just had so many numbers back there they weren't able to get up quick enough Johnny Byrne goes to retrieve the ball there behind the goal. Again, Ratnew just maybe trying to take the sting out of the game a little bit. Not much of a hurry here on the kick out. No, there's not much of a hurry on Johnny Byrne. I think if it was in his position, it'd be the same though, to be fair. Looking for someone to get the kick out to floats it again to Theo Smith drops at his feet on it's turned over it's into the hands of Kevin John Rogers he gives it back as far as on Kyo popped out as far as uh, Anto McLaughlin McLaughlin gets the ball inside as far as Patrick O'Connor O'Connor just couldn't take it at the first chance but it's Dan Coney Coney twists and turns and lobs the ball back out here as far as Patrick O'Connor O'Connor kicks a high loop and dangerous looking ball in Craig Maguire's in after Johnny Byrne is there oh hands on it but Ross O'Brien was back very cool and calm back there to get the ball off the line he done really well and gets it to the hands of Sam O'Dowd O'Dowd deep in his own 21 now gets the ball to John O'Graham Graham takes the ball the other wing far deep at the top of his own D and away come Ratnew trying to work this ball out of the danger area it's a loose pass though from Theo Smith and it's picked off there by Kevin Hanlon Hanlon does well gets the ball out as far as Brian Bowen Bowen here come Blessing and Red and Hanlon kicks this one but he's drilled it to the right of the post and wide and it's another wide for Blessing in there with the breeze in their back just Probably snapped that a little bit. He had a little bit more time than he thought there, Shane. Yeah, he had yet. Yeah. No, there was no one. There was no one really near him there. Look, look, Blessing are piling on the pressure here on Ratnew. Ross O'Brien read that last interception very well there. Showing his experience. Yeah, experience. He was back on the line to cover there. It was a dangerous ball. Could have went anywhere, but went safe on the Ratnew side anyway. It's Johnny Byrne takes the kick out as far as Paul Merrigan. Back to Jamie Smell. Back to Byrne. In the goal here, JT Hayden gets the ball at the top of his D and it's well worked out by the Rat Newman there. Paul Merrigan gets the 45 yards out, little bit of space, looks up. Blessington drops off, they're happy enough to let him have it. He gives it into John O'Graham. Graham now handling a lot of ball in this first half, gives it to Nicky Murner into Sam O'Dowd. Just in the tackle breaks away, but Nicky Murner picks it up at the second attempt. It's in as far as Ronan Manley. Manley 
on the ball here, Rat New just holding possession now, trying to take the sting out, blessing them a little bit, their tails were up, Nicky Merner looks for a free for having his run blocked to his an advantage, says Dara Byrne, it's a long advantage, but play away with Theo Smith, Jonah Graham is on the ball, Rat New slowly now building here, and it's in the hands of Jack Healy, Healy gives it to Theo Smith, Smith turns back inside and tries for that long diagonal, dangerous looking ball in, but Connell Gallagher's back there, gets a hand to it, he breaks it down as far as Kevin Hanlon, Hanlon, and it's down the field there into the hands of Patrick O'Connor there's a runner on the far side of the field if he sees him he doesn't see him that runner was Kevin Quinn but O'Connor's gone he takes on Paul Merrick and he tries to shrug him inside little pass one to inside Hong Kyo Kyo has a chance here for a score brilliant score on the counter attack there by blessing that they worked it really well down the field all through the line Shane and a great result for them and it's five points to one here yeah look they broke very quick there it doesn't seem to be working the high ball in for Ratnew it doesn't seem to be working here now in the early stages against the wind yeah, look at Blessington have their homework done. They put Mick McLaughlin back there on James Stafford and they have Connell Gallagher on Sean Coffey and it seems to be working for him at the minute to deal with that aerial threat. Again, short kick out goes as far as Jamie Snell. Snell uh, gives it to JT Hayden. Hayden, again, the blue, black and blue jerseys converge on him quick, but he does really well to get the ball out as far as Ronan Manley. Manley comes forward, gives it in as far as uh, Nicky Merner. Merner pops a little pass off to Jonah Graham. Graham has a look, oh great hand in there from Paul McLaughlin, good play by McLaughlin, breaks it down, just only goes as far as Ross O'Brien, O'Brien is fouled, he wins, he's free, says Dara Byrne. But again the Blessington the back line, the back unit seems to be doing their job, they're very well set up, they're marshalling that 45 very well against this breeze. Sam O'Dowd now on the run, gives the ball out as far as uh, Warren Kavanagh. Kavanagh looks for that diagonal ball. Again, there's Blessington hands on it. Jack Gilligan gets the hands on it and it's into the hands of Kevin Quinn. Quinn is all the way back on his own 45 here. Pops the ball off to Dan Coney. Coney comes charging forward, carries the ball down the line. Uh, the Rat New jerseys converge on Warren Kavanagh tries to get the ball on can't, but he gets it away to Kevin Hanlon, to Kevin John Rogers. And here comes Paul McLaughlin with a big boot down the field, but there's no one home. There's only two Rat New men home. And, it's a wasted ball, They're probably the wrong option there. They worked the ball through the hands the last time. And yeah. Probably. With all that space in there, there was two Rat New defenders. And he was expecting a lot of his brother Anto there. He was expecting <laughs> an awful lot of him, is right, you know, I'd say. There'll be a chat about that at the table this evening when they get home. But a sub coming in for Rat New in the early part of this one. It's Paul Ellis is coming on. Nicky Merner's gone off. That's a huge blow for Rat New to see Nicky Merner leaving the field here. We know he had been carrying an injury, but he's gone off there and he has been instrumental in their run up until now. So that's a that's a huge blow for the Rat New men. Yeah, that's a that's a massive blow now. That's they wouldn't want to see that happen. No, you might see him later on. You might see him later on the match. But it's Blessington have picked off another kick out here. It's back into the hands of Dan Coney. Coney has started really well in this match. Out as far as Kevin John Rogers into Craig Maguire. Maguire looks up. There's nothing in front of him there. There's a blanket of Rat New jerseys just covering their 45 as Blessington look to try and tease them out. Again, it's back over to the far side to Dan Coney. Coney solos with the ball, has a look at his options, gets it into Kevin John Rogers. Rogers again st stood up there by the man just in. Ellis pops the ball off as far as Kevin Hanlon. Hanlon comes forward, has a look at his options, pops it away again in as far as Craig Maguire. Maguire has a look at his options now. It's good, patient build up here by Blessington. What will be the end of it? The end of it will be Kevin John Rogers having it a pop from distance. It's gone to the right of the post and it's gone wide. And, they're just getting caught up a little bit in that it's water break time here and at the first water break it's five points to one looks to be a good shower of rain coming in here as well but blessing to doing a lot of the right things they're dealing with the aerial threat at the other end and you know they look to be moving really well here yeah look it's, it's all blessing there at the minute like there's, there's all the young lads they're all seem very up for it here today yeah, they're moving really well. As I said, the few changes they've made it work. Like Dan Cooney is in there, he's working really well. Mick Midlachlan's gone back on James Stafford. You've, you know, um, Connell Gallagher, their matchups seem to be just working better for them now. And the loss of Nicky Merner for Rat New there going off injured is a huge loss as well for them. So, you know, we talk about if there's ever a day to win a match, surely Blessington now should be looking to in this 15 minutes with the win to try and put daylight between themselves and Rat New here. Yeah, look, they definitely have to with that breeze going to the town goal. Like that, you're always going to get a kick off Rat New going into that town goal in the second half. So I think it's important, Blessing, this next 15 minutes for Blessing, they need to, they need to push on as much as they can. 
Yeah, it's huge. RA has both teams in their huddles. Alan Clark is having a chat down here, and on the other side, then you have Jonathan Daniel saying his few words. Blessington are the, out quicker. They're back onto the field, eager to get going with this one. Right, new just taking with longer. Yeah, Nicky Murner's down there. His left hamstring is heavily strapped there with ice as well, so that has been giving him trouble all throughout this championship. It's probably robbed the game of one of the best players there after kicking a huge score as well into that breeze. The one score right now I've got. So it's a big blow for them. But if any team can battle through adversity, you'd fancy right now. Yeah, you couldn't write them off anyway. Yeah, no. The kick out will be Johnny Burns. They've struggled slightly on their own kick out as well. Blessington have, have put in huge men there and they're they're looking to go just to the 45 and take their mark. It has worked a couple of times but has backfired a couple of times as well. So Ronan Manley takes the kick out from Johnny Byrne again. There's huge presence there from the Blessing and Forge. He does well to give it to Warren Kavanagh. Kavanagh gets it back to Ronan Manley. Manley hand passes the ball up here as far as Sam O'Dowd is. Right now, look to work the ball up the field again. Two blessing to men challenge. O'Dowd is in a little bit of bother, but he's helped out by Manley and they do really well to work the out. Jamie Snell gets the ball, gives it back to Sam O'Dowd. He solos, has a look up and sizes up his options, gives it in as far as uh, uh, Theo Smith. Smith goes into James Stafford. Stafford is out in front of Mick McLaughlin, done enough to win his free. Once the tackle was from behind, it was always going to be a free in. Dara Byrne was right there on it. Sam O'Dowd hands the ball to and Dial, and kicks like these now are huge for Ratnew, just to keep them in touch, I suppose. Dial. Is a is a hin range is a bit far out a loss. Yeah, look the wind and the and the soft underfoot conditions are probably don't help you trying to get torque when you're kicking freeze like this. We'll soon find out if it's in range. He seems to have the distance, but he hasn't got the no, it's dropping short and it's a fist on it there from that man James Stafford. The ball breaks, but it's mopped Kevin up Hanlon. by Kevin Hanlon. Hanlon done really well there, takes the ball, gets it out as far as Dan Coney. Coney comes away and gives the ball here as far as uh Connell G Colin Gallagher, he gets it up as far as uh, Patrick O'Connor. O'Connor twists and turns inside his man, does really well. O'Connor has a look up and now he'll deliver that dangerous ball in. Kevin Quinn and uh, pa Anton McLaughlin are in there. The ball go clears them all though and bounces away harmlessly. And Another dangerous looking ball that someone should have got something on your field. Yeah. We have impressed, with, impressed with Dan Coney here so far. He had a very good game early on in the championship against Tina Healy. He started very strong and he's... he's our young lad there now, he's starting very strong there today again. Is he get covering a lot of ground? For oh, him? Covering an awful lot of ground. He's handled ball in all corners of the field so far and he's kicked a good score as well, to be fair to him. He was at the right hand when he was needed. Johnny Byrne goes long this time and hangs in the breeze about 50 yards out. Hand on it there from Owen Kyo. Breaks it down as far as Anto McLaughlin. McLaughlin come out from his full forward berth there for a few minutes. Gives the ball into Kevin Hanlon. He gets it in as far as um, Patrick O'Connor. O'Connor pops it off to Hanlon again. He kicks this one high and kicks it over the bar. He missed one earlier. He got that one right up. No mistake that time now by Kevin Hanlon. Fair play to him. Good, good score. Again, you know, blessing and have kicked a few from a little bit further out. I think they need to work it into that top of the D area to pick off their scores. They were a little bit rash earlier, a few, but once they get in within... 30, 35 yards, they are they are knocking over their scores. Yeah, yeah the ner nerves seem to be starting to settle a bit with them. Six points to one here. It's about 20 and a half minutes on the clock. Johnny Byrne went short again out as far as Jay Jamie Snell. Snell gives it to Ronan Manley to Warren Kavanagh. Back to Snell here as right now look to try and work their way out. They're five points down here in this Bowman platform. Higher semi-final, fo senior football championship semi-final. Barton Lass are sitting pretty waiting in the final for the winners of this one. At the minute, it looks like their neighbours, Blessington, are doing the business. But here come right new up the field. A long hand pass there into the hands of Sam O'Dowd. O'Dowd pops the ball off to James Stafford. Stafford is out the field a bit deeper now. Low searching ball inside. Brilliant play there by Colin Gallagher. Controlled it on his foot as he held off Sean Coffey and picked up the pieces. Gets the ball out as far as... Stephen Bowen, Bowen gets the ball all the way across to Dan Coney, Coney right back in his own wing back position, goes long down the field, lucky there, a good hand in by Theo Smith, just got to it, Patrick O'Connor was away there, Theo Smith goes down and gets his free, a little bit of experience there, but I think that hand in, 
if this game ends up a tie one, that'll be an invaluable interception there by Theo Smith. As Ratnew come again, Smith back on the ball, took the free, gave it to his corner back, Paul Merrigan took it back, Jonah Graham's on the ball, he gives it to Ross O'Brien, Graham goes to ground, a little push on the back there from Brian Bowen, and it's a yellow card for Brian Bowen for the push on uh, Jonah Graham, so maybe it was more of a three fouls were being told here. So, Dara Byrne is very much on his game today. It's Ross O'Brien, or it's Jamie Snell gets the ball going up the field. Look for all night, but brilliantly cut out there by Paul McLaughlin. McLaughlin solos and has a look, gives it to the brother Mick. Mick at the top of the D, out to Craig Maguire. Maguire passes it out to Colin Geller. Here come, here come uh, Blessington Raiden down the field again. The ball's into Patrick O'Connor. O'Connor's away, has a look, dinks a little ball. Looking for Kevin Quinn. Oh, brilliantly taken by Quinn. Turns at the top of the D, kicks with the right foot, kicks it high. You need not ask him. When he kicks from those sort of areas, Kevin Quinn is deadly, and it's now... Seven points to one here to Blessington. Eight or eight. Kevin Seven. Queen equally, equally good off both feet there. One with the left earlier and then he pops up with the right there. A brilliant take as well. And, you know, he's such a, a languid, easy-going style. He's a, he's a fantastic footballer to watch. It's 23 minutes on the clock here, including the water break as Johnny Byrne kicks this one out. It's seven points to one here. Owen Kyo takes his mark. Again, the run is made inside and again a step man, Kevin Quinn, and he's in an acre of space here. JT Hayden tries to get over to cover the ground. He gets back on the left foot, turns back inside. He twists, he turns, he kicks. Oh, peach of a score from Kevin Quinn. Quinn is on fire here and Ratnew are having all sorts of problems containing him here at the minute. It's eight points to one now to Blessington and Rat New need to do something. They need to slow the game down or just take the sting out of it or do something because at the minute, Shane, Blessington are rampant here. They are. They're, it's all blessing. Like Rat New, half time can't come quick enough for Rat New. Kick out again is for goes short out as far as Ronan Manley. Manley takes it again up to the 45. Again, huge pressure from Kevin Quinn. He gives it into Jonah Graham though. Uh, Graham gets the ball to Jamie Snell. Snell is foul, says the referee, Dara Byrne. It's taken quickly to Theo Smith. Smith goes long across field there and looks for his uh, wing back, Jack Healy. Healy gives the ball into Jonah Graham. Graham looks up, pops a little pass up the line here as far as Paul Ellis. Ellis in for Nicky Murder, remember? Uh, sizes up his options, goes to Graham. Graham pops a pass. It's a loose one, though. It's going to be picked off by Patrick O'Connor. That's the last thing Brett New wanted now. Would they have men back in fairness? The ball, long ball into Kevin Quinn. Quinn was tangled with a right hand. The edge of the line and the two umpires, I think, and Dara Byrne agree that that's a free. There was a tangle of legs there. It was probably, probably a cornerback tangle of legs, <laughs> I'd say, <laughs> because of the ball into space looked to be favouring Kevin Quinn. But you could see the umpires and Dara Byrne confirmed there, and it's a free in, and it should be another score for the Blessington men here. It'll be Anton McLaughlin in his familiar pose, three or four steps, and... Knocks the ball high and knocks the ball over the bar. It's nine points to one here with 25 minutes just on the clock. And as you said, Shane, it looks like half time can't come quick enough now for that new. They're really under the pump here. Yeah, and look at uh, the, that man, Kevin Quinn, there again. <coughs> he's causing all sorts of troubles. I think they're going to have to consider putting someone else back on him there. Yeah, look at I think they've tried a couple even already, and he's just he, you know, he's one of those footballers. He has it everywhere, high or low. He's fast. He's skillful, both feet. You know, he's just a handful when that ball is coming in, or maybe the thing is to try and stop that ball coming in yeah, more. Yeah, so I yeah. think you know that's probably the way to handle him. Rat new looked under serious pressure there under the own kick out. Mick McLaughlin breaks the ball down to Honkyo. It's all going wrong for Rat new. It's all going right for Blessing at the minute. Again, a step man Kevin Quinn turns his way out the tackle. J T Hayden. Takes a heavy looking tackle there at at Kevin Quinn and Dara Byrne is happy enough with just a free, is he? He's he's took a tick in there, so so it was one of those tackles that it was a dangerous one. It was, uh, if he'd have made the way he was trying to meet him, it'd have been more dangerous, I think. <laughs> but he sort of got his way over. But look, it's a free in to Blessington. There's a chance here, a huge chance here. It's taken quickly by Paul McLaughlin, went all the way up from his centre back, Bertie. He has a look at the post, it looked like he was going to shoot there. Gets the ball across to his brother Anthony. Anthony McLaughlin kicks from 45 yards out, kicks high and kicks over the bar. Well worked score again. Everything they're doing at the minute. 
It seems to be working. It's 10 points to one here now. That's a huge lead in winter football. It's 26 and a half, just 27 minutes gone. And can Ratnew get a couple of scores on the board even now just before half time just to take the sting out of this? It doesn't look like they're struggling to get past midfield. It's another loose kick. They're just about coming away with it though. It's good play by Jamie Snell. Snell takes his advantage and charges forward under the tackle from Dan Coney. Another tackle from Coney. This time it's a free, surely. Yeah. And James Stafford gets on with the game as Dara Borden tried to sort out there. There was a little bit of push and shove and nothing really to report. It's back into the hands of Stafford, back to Theo Smith. Has they come, as we said, can they get a score or two here before half time just to take the sting out of the game? It's popped off into the hands of Smith. Smith kicks this one high. It's dangerous. It's right into the roof of the net. Just when they couldn't have wanted a score worse, Theo Smith pops up when 10 points to two here now. Just yeah. stops the rat a little bit. It does, yeah. In fairness, Theo Smith there, he's shown for kickouts and all. He's trying very hard there today. Showing great leadership as their experienced players always do. Kick out from Jack Sargent comes all the way down on top of Kevin John Rogers. He takes his mark, has a look up, pops a pass inside into Kevin Hanlon. Hanlon's had a big influence on this game so far. He's up and down the field. He's covering and he's even kicked a point. Gets the ball into Patrick O'Connor. There's danger here. O'Connor blasts the ball at Johnny Byrne. Byrne, oh, brilliant double save by Byrne there. Does really well to get at the second of them. Ball was knocked back out to Kevin Quinn, but Rat New lived to fight another day there. And as Paul Merrigan comes away with the ball, it's robbed from him, though. It's into the hands of Patrick O'Connor. Will they get a point from this one? They will, you know. It's 11 points to two, but a super passage of play there. What a super save from Johnny Byrne as well. The shot was from distance. But when he parried it, he got back again to claw it away. Two saves, yeah. Look, I wonder, Patrick O'Connor, it was a great shot by him. He's a bit further out. <laughs> one more pass, I think, Anthony McLaughlin could have been, could have been inside on his own. Another stride or two as yeah. well. He, he seemed to have a bit of space, but a sober save, you know, as we said, Johnny Byrne there. A goal at this stage, a goal at this stage just before half time. It was, it was, game, it was game, game over, you, might, you would imagine, but look, Johnny Byrne takes a quick kick out. Three brilliant saves last week against Dunlavin a double save here already in this one and he's just about keeping Rat News hopes alive we have 29 minutes on the clock that includes the water break so we have about two and a half minutes to go to time being up and then whatever's added in by the officials is Jack Healy gets the ball and gives it to Paul Merrigan Merrigan gives it to James Stafford Stafford has dropped way deep now trying to forage for ball and does forage for ball and he forages his way through a heavy shot there from, Ke uh, from Kevin Hanlon he got the better of that one, a long diagonal ball into Paul Ellis. Ellis runs at Paul McLaughlin here, sizes up his options again. Look, support didn't get to him quick enough. He hangs the ball up in there, up across the danger area. Numbers back there from both sides. Breaks down to Sam O'Dowd, back to Ross O'Brien. O'Brien gives it back to Sam O'Dowd. Chance for O'Dowd, kicks off the left foot, kicks it high and kicks it over the bar. And cracking game of football here, it's opened up. and Look, even that score bringing it back to eight. It's going to be hell for leather in this second half, I'd say. So, 11 points, 2-3 here, just about 30 minutes up on the clock here, as I said. We're talking about water break, we're having a... 8 points in it, look, we've, we've, we've seen Ratnew over the years, play well into that, finish strong into that town, town end, we're going to have to see it. Absolutely unbelievable performance now to claw this one back. We're going to have to see another Houdini act by the looks of things, but they're well capable of them. As you said, if anyone can, they can. They've done it before. Three minutes of injury time there'll be as the ball breaks in the middle of the field. First on to it is Jack Healy. Healy takes a heavy hit, goes down, but he picks the ball off the ground, says Dara Byrne. Blessington look to get that ball back. Dan Coney looks to get the ball back. And there's a bit of a barging match has went on over there. Dan Coney's gone to ground. I don't think... I can't be sure, but I think it was more of a just a barge and match than end. But he's gone down holding his head. Whatever's happened here, there's the, the linesman seems to have linesman and anyway. linesman and the referee are having a heavy chat here. So that usually doesn't augur well for someone when they're when they're talking for any length at all. And it's Paul Merrigan is being called out to number two for that new here. Whatever's happened. It looks, no, it's number five, Jack Healy, actually. And in my day, if you were called by a referee after speaking to a linesman, you'd be red. worried. A straight red for oh. Jack Healy. And Rat New down to 14 men. And that's a, that's a huge, huge blow now for Rat New. Nicky Merner gone, Jack Healy gone on a straight red as well. And 
eight points down here. You'd have to wonder that, look, they're, they're a great team and a great club to come back from positions, but this would surely be their greatest ever, wouldn't it, Shane? Oh, very, when you look at Nicky Merner's expression down there in front of the dugout, the, the face is in the hands, says it all. Craig Maguire, the pre was taken quickly to him. It's into Owen Kyo, back out here as far as his cornerback, Stephen Bone. Low pass into traffic, though. Ball breaks out. Oh, beautifully picked up by Kevin Quinn. He pops it off to Anton McLaughlin. McLaughlin comes back, gets the ball to Quinn. Quinn just at the second attempt takes it. Patrick O'Connor has a look. He'll drive forward and does drive forward again. Pops the ball off outside to Paul McLaughlin. McLaughlin off his left foot, kicks this one high. Is it over the bar? It is, you know. There's another. That's a huge score from Paul McLaughlin. They all want in on the act here at the minute the lesson the lads is 12 points to 3 now that's only half the story if you're just tuning in Rat Newer down to 14 men Jack Healy on a straight red and Nicky Merner gone off injured they're in big big trouble 9 points down here we're just about up to the first minute of injury time gone Johnny Byrne will take this kick out Flicked up as far as Theo Smith. Smith right back on the top of his own D. He's an awful lot of work to do to get out of there. He does well. He wins his free. He's been doing Trojan work around the middle all day there, Smith. Two men calling for it. One of those men is uh, Ronan Manley. Manley solos forward with the ball and away they come. He gives it to Jonah Graham. Graham has a look up. Sizes up his options. One of them is uh, Theo Smith. Smith takes the uh, option of a long ball in, but Colin Gallagher's been all over that job in there to the, today. He's been brilliant in that full back line. Gets it to Paul McLaughlin. The half time whistle goes here. Blessington are in the ascendancy in this semi final. There's a huge second half in store here. Look, we've, we've been talking about a little bit, Shane. You know, we, they've done it before at right New. They've come back from the dead, but can it be possible that they can do this one? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a big one. It's a, big, it's a very, very big ask with 14 men. It's, but they seem to actually, over the years, sometimes they actually play better with 14 men. Just underneath us here, there's a little bit of pushing and shoving going on. A bit of pushing and shoving going on. Uh, both players, sets of players there, just started with a little bit of a shoulder between two players and people are looking to get involved here now that shouldn't be involved so in fairness to the players and James Stafford on both sets of players they're being told to go to their huddles it's it's outside influence a big cheer goes up from both sets both sets of fans are trying to shout their way through here as well it's 12 points to 3 here in Ockram there's great excitement in this second half this one is not over by a long shot so we're going to take a quick break here and we'll be back to you with the second half shortly. Don't go anywhere. It's a long drive to Croker from here. In ways even longer for the fans. The effort, I can tell you, 
it's worth it. Even today, I can still hear it. The roar of the hill. It's gonna be something else. Yeah, we're just back here in Ockram, both teams on the field. Dara Byrne is back out here. We have one change to report here, I think. Graham Merrigan is on for Ratnew, and John O'Graham has gone off, so looks like we're ready to rock and roll here. 
as we said, if you're only joining us, it's 12 points to 3 to Blessed and Retinue are down to 14 men. But here come the bombs, as the fella said. First huge kick down the field, but gobbled up in there by Mick Midlockton. He takes the ball out, spilled away from his grasp into the hands of Ross O'Brien. Chance here for Retinue. Can they register an early score? Shot and a goal for Retinue. A goal for Retinue. It's 1 3 to 12 now, all of a sudden. And <laughs> that's typical Retinue. One first long ball in, and you know. I suppose if you're in that blessing then huddle at half time, the first thing you say, Shane, is no early goal, but look, it's after coming. 24 seconds yeah. on the clock. Yeah. I think I was surprised. I thought Mick McLaughlin caught clean there. Was kicked. I thought it could have been a, a mark. Could have been a mark is right. I didn't, but he didn't pop the hand to take it either. Oh, I think with ball... Oh. Balls into Connell Gallagher now as Blessington now look to work the ball out of defence here. Gets it into Stephen Bowen. Bowen goes back and gives the ball to Gallagher. Looked like a late tackle there on Bowen. Craig Maguire is on the ball. But Craig Maguire now is blown for over carrying here. Rat News tails are up a little bit. Blessington caught a little bit on their heels just after the break here. But the Rat New wave was always going to come. They should have been expecting it. The rain is also falling here in Ockram now. It'll be... Owen Dial on the wrong side for a right foot kicker. This is a huge kick for the young man. Now he's about 25 yards out, 7 or 8 yards in from the sideline. Kicks this one. Is it curling enough? It's not curling enough. You know, it's gone to the right of Boston wide. And he right, takes the sting out of the start a little bit. It's 12 points to 1 3. It's a minute and a half on the clock here. But just the start, Ratnew wanted Shane. Oh, yeah. Brilliant start. Great start for Ratnew. Ratnew perspective there. Bless them. Won't be happy with that now. Kick out from Jack Sargent here. Sergeant goes long down the field, it's a good kick against the breeze, a huge kick, ball breaks in the middle of the field, James Stafford is underneath, it's picked up there by uh, Owen Kyo, Kyo gets the ball but it's knocked away from his grasp and Retinue come away with it, Jamie Snell gives it to Theo Smith, infield here as Retinue come raiding down the field here, over as far as Paul Ellis, loose stone, Stephen Bone picks it off, does well Bone, he's tackled, he's fouled by Sam O'Dowd and it'll be a free to Blessington. Just simple little things now for the Rat Newman, especially down to 14. Their execution of their passes and everything will have to be spot on. If not, Blessington will take the sting out of Paul McLaughlin goes back to Stephen Bowen, takes it back off him, hand passes the ball all the way across to Mick McLaughlin. McLaughlin solos and has a look. He's a little bit of space in front of him now. Blessington looking to just work the ball through the hands and try and utilise their extra man here as Paul McLaughlin gets it, gives it out here as far as uh, Connell Gallagher. He finds. It was Stephen Bowen, sorry, he finds his uh, number seven, Brian Bowen, solos and has a look, he's tackled up by Paul Ellis, just about gets away, but comes back, all the way back to Stephen Bowen, he gives it to Paul McLaughlin, McLaughlin has men over on the outside, now Colin Gallagher gets the ball, James Stafford makes a tackle and misses him, Jack Gilligan gets the ball, looked like a late tackle there on Colin Gallagher, uh, low and a low tackle there on Paul McLaughlin, so it'll be a free to Blessington, Paul McLaughlin has gone to ground. James Stafford tries to give him a friendly hand up. He was having none of it, so. It's a yellow card to uh, Sean Coffey there by the looks of things. So Sean Coffey goes on a yellow for that tackle on Paul McLaughlin. Free is taken by Owen Kyo, or yeah, no, not Owen Kyo, sorry. Uh, Kevin John Rogers, he kicks it inside. It's in the hands of Anton McLaughlin now as Blessington look to come and try and get a score on the board, maybe take the sting out right new, it's Patrick O'Connor, gets the ball, pops it off, throw the hands in there, Anthony McLaughlin is on the ball, he gives it in to the corner up as far as uh, Kevin Hanlon, and he gives it back out as far as Anthony McLaughlin, he pops it off to Dan Coney, goes, looks to go to Kevin John Rogers, Rogers has a look at his option just as the ball comes to him, breaks away here, chance for Kevin John Rogers to kick a score, it's a big kick, it's a big score for Blessing. A huge score for the Blessing of Men, 13 points now on the board, 1-3 for Ratnew and after a good start from Ratnew that just takes the, knocks the stuffing over a little bit, Shane. Yeah, no, it definitely helps, helps Blessing in there on the air, steady the ship. First attack in the second half, the register score four, just about four and a half minutes coming up on the clock. Ratnew goes short to Graham Merrigan, look to take possession, he pops the ball off to Theo Smith, Smith on his own 65, gets it off as far as Paul Ellis, back to Smith and back out as far as Graham Merrigan. Merrigan has a look up, again the blanket of a defence is there for Blessing, plus the extra man, remember, Ross O'Brien takes on the ball here, he carries it into the 45, looks for a bit of space, gets the ball on his left foot, look to set himself for a kick for a score, that's a huge kick, but it's huge, out to the left and it's gone wide and probably the wrong decision, that's not what Ratnew wanted, it wasn't a long ball in and it wasn't a 
It wasn't a pass, Shane. It was just, it's not what they need at the minute. No, they don't want to be squandering too many more possessions like that now. They need to be making the most of them. We're lined up here again for a kick out from Jack Sargent. Number 18, Ross Quinn is warming up underneath us for Ratnew. Kick out comes from Jack Sargent. Long kick uh, down the field on top of Dan Coney. He's boxed away and Ty T. O. Smith is there. Sent into the hands of Paul Merrigan. Merrigan solos to the top of the D. He tries to have a shot again. It just hangs up in the air. Mick McLaughlin is back there. Takes it. Pops a pass off as far as Kevin Hanlon. Hanlon, Hanlon has been ever willing in this first. First and second half, he brings it all the way back across his own D and gives the ball to Stephen Bone. Bone, again, just retreats with the ball and gives it back to Mick McLaughlin as they look to just keep possession and utilise the spare man, as we said, and work the ball around. Oh, it looks loose, looking past there from Paul McLaughlin. It's gathered by Colin O'Gallagher, but it's well worked by McLaughlin this time, and he gets it to Kevin Hanlon all the way over on this side. Charges up the field with the ball, breaks the lines, does really well. Gets the ball off to Craig Maguire. Maguire pops it into Kevin Quinn, back out as far as Dan Coney. The youngsters all combining and a great ball in in front of Anthony McLaughlin. Does really well, McLaughlin out in front. He's about 40 yards out, has a look, looked like he was going to shoot, but doesn't. Gets the ball into Patrick O'Connor. He drills the ball high and over, over the bar. Brilliant score from Patrick O'Connor. Hit the back stanchion and came back out. Wonderful score too, attacks are blessing in those scores and that's just what they need against this wind and against this rat new team. Yeah, super drill score there now, by the outside of the right right boot, he looks so composed, kicking Patrick O'Connor there and look, keeps it blessing well ahead. 14 points to 1-3, an 8 point lead here as Ross Quinn enters the field, who's going off for rat new? I haven't seen who's going off at the minute, Zone Dial is going off, they're a free taker. In general, is going to the line. So, again, it goes short to kick out from Johnny Warren into JT Hayden Ball, but it's picked off there by Paul McLaughlin, and there could be a little bit hoping at the back here. As Kevin Quinn gives the ball to Patrick O'Connor. Danger here is O'Connor solos forward. It could have went for the jugular, but. He's kicked it high, this one, and this one goes over the bar as well. 15 points to 1-3. They could have went for the goal maybe, but the point is probably the better option. 15 points is no mean kicking in 37 minutes in this weather, lads. Johnny Byrne takes the kick out, gives it out as far as Paul Merrigan. Merrigan solos with the ball as right new. Have all the work to do to get up the field, to be fair. They're trying valiantly, but Blessington are making a wall across the line, and it can, just can't reach that one. There, Paul Ellis tried to get to it. It was a loose pass and just couldn't reach it. Dan Coney will take this line ball. Coney, oh, just just about picked off there by James Stafford. Well done from Connell Gallagher to get the ball. He gets it back as far as Kevin John Rogers. He gives it back to Paul McLaughlin. McLaughlin looked to come up the line here, but he trails back with it and kicks a long pass out as far as Mick McLaughlin. It's gone way back into the corner back position there. The keeper, Jack Sargent, is out to help him with it and give him the ball. And Rat New immediately push up, so it was over blessing and I'd rather not see it being played around there. They've done well to work it out though for through Craig Maguire and Connell Gallagher back to Maguire. Good play there by uh Maguire. He breaks the tackle, gets the ball off to Kevin Quinn. Quinn has a look at his options. He goes stand side, gives the ball to Kevin Hanlon. Hanlon comes back around with the ball in between two Rat New players. He needs support now. Ross O'Brien breaks the tackle of O'Brien, gives the ball to Kevin John Rogers. Rogers looks up and drills a long, dangerous looking ball down the line, but oh, it's missed by Rat New back there into the hands of Anton McLaughlin. McLaughlin kicks this one, but he's pulled it to the left of the post and wide and just tailed off. It was a good chance there. It looked like uh, Ronan Manley had that ball, went past him, and it was probably a good chance. He snapped that a little bit, Anthony McLaughlin, though. Yeah, Owen Kyo was, was shouting inside. He was inside on his own there. No one to be, honey, the keeper. Number 25, Jack Cotter is about to come in here for number seven, Brian Bone. So Brian Bone was on the yellow card there from the first half, so maybe that influenced the decision a little bit. Jack Cotter just been welcomed into the game there. Kick out goes to the stand side there and over as far as Graham Merrigan. Merrigan solos with the ball. Underneath the stand, has a look up, there's runs being made inside, a good pass, looked to be a good pass, but it's gone through everyone to be the first chance for Jack Cotter here to get into the game. He does 
Takes a little hand pass in as far as Craig Maguire at the top of his own D here. Maguire comes out onto this press box side, pops it off to Cotter. He gives it to Paul McLaughlin. McLaughlin pops it back in to uh, Stephen Bone, the corner back. And he gives it all the way across to Kevin John Rogers. Rogers pops it off to Mick McLaughlin. McLaughlin solos with this one, looks for the long foot pass. Oh, it's, it hasn't worked out though, and it's into the hands of Paul Ellis Ratnew. Can they capitalise on this? Jack Gilligan got out in front, ball squirted away behind him, but it's again the extra man is back there for Blessing to pick it up, and away goes Paul McLaughlin up the field. He's 65 yards out from his own goal. Hand passes the ball into Hong Kyo, pops it back to McLaughlin, outside of the boot, into Anton McLaughlin. Brilliant football being played by Blessing here as McLaughlin looks to get the pass off, gives it back out to Kevin Hanlon. Hanlon had a man inside. Side, but he opts to go to Anton McLaughlin. McLaughlin is fouled. This ball was won fairly, says uh, referee Dara Byrne. He's right and away come right new. Good defending from the right new men there to come out with that ball. Ross O'Brien has the ball on his toe here. Uh, 45 yards out from his own goal kicks a long ball up the field looking for Theo Smith Smith tries to let the hop come over Craig Maguire. Maguire does enough to get a hand on it. It's a line ball to the right new men and we have just about 11 minutes on the clock here. It's 15 points to 1-3. James Stafford will be looking for this one now. He's on the edge of the square. Huge kick. It's hanging in there. Sean Coffey, Stafford are underneath it. It's broken away and it's going to be a 45 according to the umpire. Down at that end, it will be a 45. But, you know, after the first, after conceding the early goal, after 11 minutes, you'd, you'd have to be very happy if you're a blessing and man there. The way they've came back and kicked their couple of scores and just nullified right now. Yeah, no, they're doing, they're doing very well there now, in fairness. Working very hard. Yeah, they have. They've been very good in possession as well. I know they have an extra man, but sometimes that can't opt be against you. So Mark Doyle is about to come in here. Looks like he wants to get in before the 45, is he? Yeah, it did. He looked <laughs> like he was trying to get in on the field. Theo Smith kicks this one. It's gone high and it's snuck inside the left-hand post. There's 15 points here now to 1-4. Seven, uh, seven points to 15. There's an eight point game with 12 minutes on the clock. Mark Dial is in. Sean Coffey is coming out. So. Be, he scored two goals against Barton last. He scored the winning point the last day against Dunlavin. So they'll be looking for a, a huge input from him over the next few minutes if they can get that ball and get into him Dan Coney's underneath this one Jack Carter tries to pick it up it's well won by Craig Maguire he's done really well in this match Maguire gets the ball off to Jack Carter Carter charges forward gives it back to Maguire there's open grass in front of Maguire here now James Stafford is working hard to try and get back does get back but does foul in fairness but like Stafford Stafford has covered huge ground there for a man with the, of his mileage as less as to get back and he's just Foul there, but it looked like Maguire was heading for I think he was the happy, danger. He was happy to concede the, concede the free there. Yeah, I think he was happy. And look, it could be a good foul from from where you are, I suppose. As I said, we don't condone dirty play here. but <laughs> Anton McLaughlin kicks this one high, straight and true. He's been very good on the freeze all year. As you said earlier, Shane, he's been very good on that one. It's 16 points now to 1 4 here as Blessington look to stamp their authority on this one. 13 yeah. minutes gone. Yeah, that's, that's the, I think that's Anto's fifth point of the day now. It's a huge input here. Johnny Byrne goes long down the field, hands in the middle of the field again. Away come the Blessing and men. That man, Kevin Hanlon, has been huge. He's bundled to the ground. He wins his free there. Uh, an over excited tackle from Graham Merrigan there is going to. Is going here in the chat with her referee Dara Bourne. He'll have a yellow card beside his name, I'd imagine. Yes, he's a yellow card for Graham. Kevin John Rogers has the ball under his arms. Kevin Hanlon is on the ground there. He's been been very good in this game. Hanlon has have a lot of these blessing the players. They've really they've really taken this game to right new. Hanlon is up, he's okay. The free is for Kevin Rogers. He's been told to go back to the 45, where it's from. So he looks up, there's a run being made inside. That run is from Owen Kyo. Kyo is out in front, takes the ball, does really well, twists and turns with it, has a look up. 
Looked like he was going to pop the pass off there. He does eventually pop it off to Kevin John Rogers. He kicks a long ball all the way across the field and it's Mick McLaughlin has come raiding up the field here. He's 45 yards out, pops a little pass off outside him to Dan Coney. Coney's all been tackled and fouled there by uh, James Stafford. Stafford is all over his case. It's another free. It's another free for Blessington. Mick McLaughlin hands the ball to his brother Anthony. Long way out this one into the breeze. He ups to go short. He does go short. It's into Kevin Queen. Queen is between the 14 to 21. To, turns a hand in there from Ronan Manley. Just is enough to knock it away. Quinn though gets the ball. Comes back out to Kevin John Rogers here. He's looking for a runner. He goes all the way back to Mick McLaughlin. McLaughlin comes across as far as Paul McLaughlin. McLaughlin has a... Uh, Jack Cotter outside him, Cotter does well to evade two tackles and he gets in as far as just the edge of the D there, again he needs support, that support is on with on Kyo, Kyo gets the ball out to Patrick O'Connor, O'Connor tries to drill one with the outside the boot, just doesn't come off this time and we have our uh, water break here in the second half, it's 16 points to 1-4 here and look at we spoke about Rat New going to come out, Hall guns blazing, they did come out Hall guns blazing to be fair but you have to give Blessington credit. They've settled and steadied the ship and they've picked off some, a couple of great scores there in that second half. Yeah, look, at Blessington, they've suffered a lot at the, at the hands of Rat New in Championship football over the, the last number of years. Look, but the, the injection of youth there over the last few years, they, they, they sit, they're really up for it there today. And look, it's going to take a, it's going to take an unbelievable effort from Rat New to try and get back into this. Get back out of this one. They're nine points behind here. And as we say, but... You know, you said they've invested in youth Blessington up there, you know, they've produced they've always produced good young footballers, but when you look there today at the, the efforts of Craig Maguire, uh, Dan Coney, Connell Gallagher, you know, and you know, the older lads are stepping up as well. they uh, they've looks Kevin, like they've just got it right today, to be fair yeah, to them. Kevin Quinn as well there have been instrumental. Kevin Quinn as well, you know. And, Look, they haven't, you know, the Mikey O'Connor and Curtis Gary on the bench here still, you know, like it, yeah. it's a really solid looking panel. Like you, David Bootman hasn't David seen Bootman either, like they're all. You know, Jordan McGardine signing, like, you know, this is a really strong Blessington panel here. They still have options, you know, to be seven points up on, or to be nine points up on Red New going into the last 15 minutes, and those lads still warm on the benches. It's a fair pat on the back for the lads that are on the field. Yeah, like I say, that nine points, you'd be, you'd be hopeful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it, you know. So coming in is David Boatman, just as we said it, the number 24. Hands the slip of paper in. I'll check and see who's gone off. He'll be going in around the half hour line, the middle third, I'd imagine. So Boatman is in. The kick out is from Johnny Byrne. Dan, Byrne goes. Dan, Coney's, Dan gone. Coney's gone off. The ball breaks around the middle of the field again as Hanlon is on it. But good tussle between him and Sam O'Dowd. But Hanlon wins it again and does really well. Ham passes the ball away to David Boatman. Boatman gives it to Kevin John Rogers. He turns his way out of the tackle there with uh, T.O. Smith again. Durant Newman push up on the ball, but he's blown for over carrying. It's a free in to Rat New, and this will be the first chance for Mark Dial inside maybe to try and feel the bomb. As the rain comes down now, that wind blows down into the town end here. Rat New need Blessing an injection and they need a quick breath. Blessing to Nebra all their big men back in. The high ball is dropping. It's a little bit far out probably for them. A big punch there. My big McLaughlin breaks the ball away. And it's into the hands of Connell Gallagher. Reacted quick. Gallagher gets it to David Boopman. He gives it to Patrick O'Connor. O'Connor gets the ball and comes back and gives it to Craig Maguire. Maguire pops a pass to Mick McLaughlin. He looks and sizes up his options, picks a little pass out. His blessing didn't work the ball really well. Back into the hands of Craig Maguire and away comes Maguire again. Ross O'Brien tries to get to him. He can't. Oh, he passes the ball on the turn and gives it to Jack Gilligan. Gilligan, long foot pass up the field as far as on Kyo. Kyo goes down the ball. A hand in there from Warren Kevin. The both men go to ground. Both men are back up. Gets the ball to Kevin Quinn. Quinn. Oh, he's cut inside. Ronan Manley here. There's danger. There's Rat New Jersey's back. He just slips at the wrong time, probably for him. Gets the ball to Jack Gilligan. He gives it to on Kyo. Kyo tries to curl one in with the right foot, but it's gone away to the right of the post and it's gone wide. And they're just playing a very good brand of football. I know they have the extra man there as well, but it's a good brand of football. They're playing even against the wind. Yeah, look, they're all there's a lot of support going on there. Anytime a man has the ball, he's two or three options there. 
They're all but, working hard for each other. Ball breaks in the middle of the field and Craig Maguire picks up the pieces, gets a foot pass across to Mick McLaughlin. McLaughlin evades the tackle of James Stafford into David Bootman. Bootman goes long and diagonal into Kevin Quinn. Quinn lets it hop and takes it in. He squares up Ron and Manny. Great battle between these two all day. He tries to gain along the end line. He does get past him, but there's cover there and it's Samod out. Brilliant play to hold control there by... Uh, uh, Kevin Quinn gets the ball out, David Bootman knocks it back out to Kevin Hanlon. He pops the ball off here as far as Patrick O'Connor. Todd O'Connor was going to have a shot there. He gives it to Mick McLaughlin, pops it inside to Honkyo, back to Mick McLaughlin. He'll fancy his chances, drills the ball, but it's to right hit the post and wide. And another wide for Blessington, but as long as the ball is up at that end, it's not down in the danger area, I suppose, and it's goals now that are at new need. Hey, look, the Blessington, just shot the best thing, I'd say they're up on nearly 10 wides there now. Just goes to show how many chances they've actually got. Like. Yeah, and, and with 16 points on the board as well. Yeah. Instead, in these conditions, it's huge. Like, Johnny Byrne kicks the ball long down the middle of the field. Again, the break. It's all blessing that David Bootman gets the ball. He pops it in as far as Kevin Quinn. Quinn takes it at the second attempt. He's 45 yards out. Drops the shoulder and pops a pass off. As far as Kevin John Rogers, the loose one, though. And Sam O'Dowd picks it off and does well to evade the tackle. Gets the ball out as far as Theo Smith. Smith steps back inside again. A heavy tackle from David Boop and Smith takes it. He'll take his free quickly and he gets the ball to Jamie Snell. Snell is underneath the uh, press box here. He's 65 yards out from the town goal. He looks up, he sizes up his options and comes back in as far as Graham Merrigan. There's no one in on the square for Ratnew. They're looking for that ball in, but there was no one in there. James Stafford is, gets the ball. He's fouled us as Dara Byrne. It'll be a free in and a chance to put one in there now, but immediately the Blessington men find their way back it's a high diagonal ball but it's gone too far and it's gone wide and there's just nothing seems to be going right for them at the minute no you see James Stafford kicking that one now is a little bit too much power on it he's kind of kicking it into where you'd like to see him that's it yeah they can't be everywhere we have a double substitution Martin Shannon and Mikey O'Connor are coming in here and Owen Kyo is going off and Kevin John Rogers huge Cheer from the Blessington crowd, the two of those are putting a serious, serious effort there. To give him the full hold, Mikey O'Connor goes straight in the corner for Shannon was very good the last day here as a ball carrier, so kick out, it's taken, it hangs in the air a bit, but Kevin Handling gets to it first again, there's heavy pressure on him over there, but he's blown for picking it off the ground. It'll be another free in here for Ratnew, so another chance to, to drop one in around the edge of the square. Well, again, blessing and have big men back there, but again, that ball is just not right going in there. It's away from the goal and breaks away. It gives blessing and a chance to get numbers and runners around. There's a push in the back and a foul there by Mark Dial, and it'll be a free to Blessington just to ease their woes a bit with 22 minutes on the clock, including the water break here. 16 points to Blessing, 1 4 to Retinue. Ball is into Stephen Bone. He gets the ball to Jack Cotter. Pops it all the way across here as far as Kevin Hanlon. Hanlon gets up the field with the ball. Has a look at his options. Decides to come back. Paul McLaughlin says, give it to me. He takes the ball. Gives it back to Hanlon. A little one, two, and it'll be a three, four because it's back into the hands of Paul McLaughlin here. He's looking and telling lads where he wants him. Mikey O'Connor gives a foot pass there as far as David Boopman. It's a little bit broken down. It's spilled possession now around the middle, but there's a good hand in from Hanlon there to knock it away from Ross O'Brien. Graham Merrigan is on the ball. He gives it back to Paul Merrigan. He tries to get up the field with the ball. He does get up the field with the ball. Pops off a pass, but again, it's a loose hand pass. It's picked off by Martin Shannon there with Sam O'Dowd actually. As uh, had his pass picked off and it's blessing that to come raiding up the field now and it's Mikey O'Connor plays the ball into uh, Martin Shannon. Shannon uh, steps inside, has a look and gives the ball back out to Patrick O'Connor. O'Connor on the ball here, gets it into the middle of the field to Craig Maguire. Maguire in possession, passes it out as far as Jack Cotter here. He has a look, gives it in to Mick McLaughlin. Back as far as Cotter is a Blessington doing a great job just utilising the extra numbers here. Giving the job out to David Bootman. Bootman gets the ball up the field here. As far as uh, Patrick O'Connor, again, they're just trying to tease out a scoring opportunity. Ball is into Mikey O'Connor. O'Connor wins the ball out in front, pops it off to the runner, that's Martin Shannon. Shannon has a shot blocked down, half blocked down. Johnny Byrne reacts quickest in on the end line there, pops a little pass out to Graham Merrigan. Merrigan kicks a foot pass out to Paul Merrigan on this side, and JT Morehouse tries to run off his shoulder, decides against it. Paul Merrigan. Goes down the field with the ball as the rain falls here, as darkness comes in even already. But a brilliant block down there from uh, Paul McLaughlin on the number 18, Ross Quinn. And just 
it's typical of everything that has went before. Eddie Doyle is coming in wearing number 25 here, but it's been typical. Everything has went right for Blessing today. Probably everything gone wrong for Ratnew. Yeah, look, losing Nicky Murna earlier was always going to be an uphill struggle. See, Eddie Doyle coming on here now. He's, he's left knee. He looks heavily strapped as well. Yeah, heavily strapped left knee there on Eddie, and it'll be a line ball to Paul Merrigan. Sam O'Dowd. Sam O'Dowd is coming off. He's put in a huge shift, to be fair. He's been up and down that field all day. Maybe just that last hand pass, it looked like he's out on his feet a little bit. In fairness, though, he, he's been marking Kevin Hanlon. Kevin Hanlon has got through Trojan work there. Yeah, the huge, back huge battle between the two there. Graham Merrigan takes the ball, gives Paul Merrigan gives it to Graham Merrigan. He has a look up, boots the ball long in, looking for Mark Doyle. Doyle is out in front, wins this one. He's about 21 yards out. On the sideline, on the ball breaks down from Retinue and it's into the hands of Jack Gilligan. Gilligan gives the ball away as far as that man, Kevin Hanlon, again. He pops a pass off to Kevin Quinn. Quinn inside his own 65, pops it to Martin Shannon. Away come Blessington with the ball. Again, a huge work. Mikey O'Connor is on the ball, gives it all the way across to Patrick O'Connor. O'Connor in space, tries that long diagonal ball into Anto McLaughlin. McLaughlin, oh, looks like he's doing a a knee there, looks like it's a bad injury enough on Manto McLaughlin, we hope he's alright but Rat New come away with the ball <coughs> looks in he, looks, he looks in a lot of pain as Rat New come down the field, get the ball as far as Eddie Doyle, Doyle now solos with, gets set into Jamie Snell, Snell comes away with the ball and pops it out as far as uh, the number 18 is Ross Quinn, Quinn gives it back into Gives it back into Eddie Doyle as Rat New just recycled the ball across the 65. They're lining up the men inside, but it's a kick from Graham Merrigan and it's gone away off his boot and it's gone to the right of the post and wide. And uh, the play has just been stopped here. It looked like a heavy jar on the knee there from here on Anthony McLaughlin. We hope he's all right because he's. The leg, just, the leg just seemed to shudder right the minute yeah. he touched the ground, whether it's the ankle or the knee. You see Dean Sidney here going in, I think. He goes so in he must be best in his last substitution, is it? He, uh, he's had a fantastic championship so far, and to be within touching distance of a county final now, you'd hate to see him missing a true injury. So we just hope he's all right there. He seemed to be. The physio is attending to him here. 26 minutes gone and 1 4 from Ratnew. Wouldn't be it's very, ideal. It's very on Ratnew like. Five scores, is, uh, they, wouldn't, they won't be happy with that now. They wouldn't be happy with that at all. And, you know, the, the goal just after half time there as well, they never really pushed on after it. You know, they've been. They've been well contained by this Blessington outfit though, all throughout. But look, Blessington, you're looking at, you're looking at the, the the big panel is really coming into play. Like you're looking at the players they're taking off, and you're looking at the, the players they're bringing, the quality they're bringing on. They have such a big, strong panel. They're going to take a lot. Of, yeah, they're getting strong. A lot of ma I think this is their fifth match as well. They just seem to be building and getting stronger every every game. Yeah, they're building through the championship, which is always a good sign as well. But you, you know, as you said, like the players they're bringing on there, but they're they're all at the type of winter footballer as well this time of year I know they're in the summer they're probably younger and faster but they're, they're a hugely physical imposing team as well aren't they oh they are yeah look, look they are and I think probably the, the, the McLaughlin's and Owen Kyo and all and Kevin Hanlon this, they're all getting on in the years they've been good servants to bless them I think this time, this championship this time of year it seems to be it seems to be done no, no harm no harm is right as we see Anthony McLaughlin he's been replaced by Dean Siney. He's he's up and he's hobbling so He's getting help from the field, we would hope that he's it's a bit or he's not moving that freely, but he's up and he's moving, I suppose, is all we can say at this time. Jack Sargent takes the kick out, ball breaks in the middle of the field, breaks away into the hands of uh, Eddie Doyle. Doyle wins, he's free, has a look up, he's looking for that long ball in, it goes in and it's Mark Doyle, just shoves his man out of the way, gets the ball, twists and turns, has a look and again there's a huge presence in there and they've done enough to get the ball to the left of the boss boy, but it's gone off a hand and it's a 45 and it'll probably have to be dropped in under the crossbar again, so... Just looking, they're still tending, Anthony McLaughlin up here at the... just above the right new dugout, so... We'll see. We'll see how he is, I'm sure we'll get an update. There's a bless another Blessington player down here. Right. Jack Gilligan is in, it's a head injury, according to what we're being told, so... 
the Blessington physios having her work cut out there now at the minute. She's in demand in all corners of the field. He's up though, he's alright. He hadn't time to wait for her, I think, so Theo Smith will look to lob this one in. Again, will be. Drills this one, it's right on the edge of the crossbar. Oh, through the hands of Paul McLaughlin off the crossbar and over, and that's one of them. So, uh, when I went through his hands there, it seemed to rise it just enough to get over the crossbar. Just enough to clip the top of the crossbar. We have just about. Just about 30 minutes on the clock here now. That's including the water break. We'll have a minute and a half plus whatever additional time there is for a few stoppages. They've took the sting out of the game as well. Rat New come raiding down the field looking for another score as Ross O'Brien gets the ball. He gives it to... We'll have five minutes of injury time, we're told. So if Rat New can get the ball in the back of the net in the next minute or two, can they get from somewhere? Oh, just as I said it, the high ball in from any dial. James Stafford knocks the ball to the net. And it's 2-5 now to 16 points. It's back to a five-point game just about with five minutes to go. Could it happen? Could it happen? That was a super connection by Stafford. I think 14 yards out there. Right hand up. A paw, as the fella says. It was like a big paw on the ball. Just got it away from the keeper as well. It's like you pasted it in the corner. So we're back. In, we won't say it just in the melting pot, but possession of this kick out is crucial. A huge kick from Jack Sargent. Ball breaks in the middle of the field. It's won by that man, Craig Maguire. Maguire gets up the field and kicks the ball in as far as Dean Signey. Signey was out in front. He was pushed in the back, says Dara Byrne. Oh, and there's, uh, looks like there's a little bit of jarn there between Dean Signey and JT Hayden. It'll be. I think Dara Byrne doesn't look overly worried about it. He's guy given the free. and It'll be, it'll be a free in to Kevin Quinn and Blessington. Uh, you know, right, you don't need that now. They've just got a goal. They need to try and get back down the field and get another one and maybe put a little bit of doubt in the minds. They don't need to be... They don't need Kevin Quinn kicking a free from 30 yards <laughs> out here. <laughs> no, they don't. He's stepping up with the right boot there. Quinn has a look, kicks this one high. Oh, high and straight over the bar. Brilliant kick by Quinn. A huge kick for Blessing and a huge answer to that goal that just went in at the other end. It's 17 points now. It's 2-5. There's 31 and... Three quarter minutes on the clock here, so we're just into injury time by me. If you take the water break out, but Rat New goes short, get the ball out as far as Ross Quinn. Quinn evades uh, the tackle, pops the ball off to Ross O'Brien. There's a pull back by David Bootman there, and it'll be a free to Rat New. Wouldn't give him back the ball, it's being moved up. Little bit of to and fro and messing going on there from both sides now, so. Ball is in the hands of the Rat Newman and in the hands of Ross O'Brien. It's drilled in, but again it's away from the goal and it's gone out to the left and wide. And just when they needed the right ball in there, it's just gone astray and it's gone away. Barry Murner tries to rally his troops down here on the sideline. He's still trying to keep, tell them to keep going. Blessington have weathered another storm here though and they look to be on their way to the local derby county final next Sunday with Barton Glass. And it should be a cracker. Sergeant kicks out this ball, hangs one up in the air. It's a great kick against the wind again. It breaks in the middle of the field, but it's into the hands of Paul Merrick, and he gives it to uh, Ross O'Brien, who finds James Stafford. Stafford charges forward. Brilliant play by Stafford. He needs support. Gets the ball to Eddie Doyle. Doyle lobs this one high, and he lobs it over the bar. You know, it's gone high, and it's gone over. There's still a few minutes to go here. It's 2-6 to 17 points. We're back to a five-point game. We have about two minutes left on this one. Can Rat New pull it out of the fire? Kick out will be from Jack Sargent. Long kick again from Sargent looking for Jack Cotter. Ball comes out of the hands of Jack Cotter. Breaks and David Bookman gets it. Gets the ball away as far as Jack Cotter. Good play here. And it's into the hands of Kevin Quinn. Quinn is all on his own. Gets the ball in as far as Patrick O'Connor. He's inside the D. Look to give it back to Quinn. Shot. Buries the ball. It's off the boot of the post. He went for the glory. He probably should have kicked it over the bar. He went for the, the big score. It would have been the, the seal and one. But it's away now. And Rat New come down the other end of the field. And Eddie Dial is on the ball. He gives the ball to Ross O'Brien. O'Brien gives it back to Eddie Dial. In a little bit of traffic. Dial does well enough to get how a bother though. Kicks a foot pass out here. As 
Far as uh, Paul Ellis, Ellis pops it off to Jamie Snell, back to JT Hayden, Hayden has a look, hand passes the ball away here, we still have about a minute to go by me and it's into the hands of Ronan Manley, Manley plays the ball across to Warren Kavanagh, Kavanagh hand passes it into Jamie Snell, right you need the ball in around the house here at this stage and there it goes, a long ball in, Stafford's under, Mark Doyle is under, Doyle takes his mark, does really well, pops a little pass off to James Stafford, Stafford steps back inside, there's numbers there, oh there's a hand on it and it's gone for a 45 and just enough numbers back there from Blessington to, to see it out, it's it's exciting, fair enough. Anyway, I have to give it that for a game that looked like it was just going to peter out. Typical Rat New, they will not stop until the end. No, oh, Mark Doyle done very well there to gather that ball, the high ball in there. Huge catch from Doyle, that's what he was in there for, that's what he was brought in there for. It'll be a 45, Theo Smith will take this one. Yeah, he's kicked two over earlier on in the match, I don't know if kicking this over is going to help. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but he's going to... Put it there, thereabouts, it's in the danger area, ball breaks in, there's a fist on it, it's gone away. Umpires look at one another, they're not sure, it's gone wide, it's gone to the right and wide, Jamie Snell is not happy with the umpire but it is gone away to the right and wide, and we'll now have probably what should be the last play of the game I'd say with Jack Sargent here, it's 17 points to 2-6 here, it's Blessington have their two feet you would say well and truly planted in next Sunday's county final the ball is in the air the final whistle goes and Blessington are back in the county final Rat New just couldn't do it they took too many hits down to 14 men losing Nicky Murner but I have to say it's been from pillar to post it's been a wonderful display by Blessington as well they've everything they've done they've got their matchups right they've got picked their team spot on and everything they've done on the field like you could count on one hand or mistakes even during the day to be fair to him, Shane. Yeah, look, they came they came they came out of the blocks a hundred mile an hour and in fairness to them, they kept that pace up the whole way through the game. And look, unfortunate there, like you see Anton McLaughlin there, his his left knee heavily strapped the ice on it there, limping in. It's a bitter bitter pill for him there. Obviously they're delighted to be in the county final. He's he's gonna be a big week for him. Big week for him to try and get ready now, but he has it to try and get ready for. We are going to try and uh make our way to Arklow now for the second of our Intermediate Football Championship semi-finals. Thanks everyone for listening. Thanks to Shane, Tracy and Stephen here. We'll be back with you with the semi-final at three o'clock. That's uh, um, on Talker and Kilcool. Thanks to everyone for listening in and uh, best of luck to the two teams now. Blessing them, bottom that's in the final. <laughs>